In 2024, I did something I've never done before. I spent many weeks offline. It wasn't for recreation. I was actually recovering from major surgery. This experience was difficult both mentally and physically, but it did provide me with some valuable perspective and insight into what it means to trust as a leader. The weeks I spent out of the office put to test our systems, our ways of working, and the high caliber of my team. I was nervous, not because I didn't think my team could handle everything in my absence, but because I, like many leaders, felt uneasy about letting go of the reins. So what happened during those eight weeks while I was forced to switch off? Well, my business continued to grow, largely without me. And that's because if you as a leader think that you need to control everything, then you are getting in the way of progress. The best leaders get high performance out of their teams by empowering them, not commanding and controlling them. Delegating tasks only creates followers and relegates leaders to the role of manager. A true leader must instead delegate authority. By delegating authority, freedom, and decision-making power, you can create a team with real ownership over their roles. The role of leaders should be to make the decisions only they can make. The rest of the time should be spent delegating and lifting the team up to do their best work. And the good news is that you don't need to be bed bound like I was to cultivate this within your workplace. Start by asking your team questions that encourage them to use their skills, knowledge and wisdom to take charge. For example, if an employee asks you for the next steps on a project, ask them, what do you think we should do next? Not only will this empower your team to work autonomously, but it will also free up your time to focus on areas of the business that genuinely require your attention. At the end of the day, if all the decision-making power is locked up in the top layers of leadership, you won't be able to scale, adapt or grow quickly. Since I've been back to business as usual, I've seen just how powerful it is to relinquish control. I've watched as they have risen to the challenge of skillfully handling tasks that I once believed I needed control over. With this lesson in mind, I encourage you to focus on what only you can do, rather than what you were afraid to relinquish control over. The right team will rise to the occasion and more likely blow you away in the process.